Okay, we're ready now for the other half of our participants for today's Over the Top Rope Battle Royal. The other participants are Flex Cavana, Sissy James Armstrong, the Cyberpunk, Art Sawyer, Charlie Lamb, and Too Sexy, Brian Christopher. We are ready now for our Over the Top Rope Battle Royal. Let's go over now to Lance Russell, Dave Brown, and Jerry the King. Lawler. You are right, Mr. Corey. We have an individual who has got a little bit more than just a casual interest in this. The guy that holds the U.S. heavyweight belt, and we're talking about the king, Jerry Lawler, to be here for the commentary on this battle royal to decide who is going to challenge you today, Jerry. Well, I want to tell you something, Lance. Looks like it's going to be a worthy opponent no matter who, because I don't see a weak link anywhere in that battle royal. I mean, you got them all. you got some uh, some old faces that everybody around the USWA is familiar with. Bill Dundee, uh, Brian Christopher, then you got, you know, the cyberpunks. you got a lot of new talent in there today, too. A lot of guys I haven't seen in a while. Your Bart Sawyer back again. I mean, Bart Sawyer was here before, made a tremendous name for himself. Who else is in there? Flex Cavana. This guy, I saw Flex him last Cavana week. Flex Cavana last week. Did he look good? Yeah, very good. In addition to that, we have uh, a newcomer out of Australia, Ashley Hudson is in here. And a big guy with the cyberpunks right now, the Punisher. He's taking on both of them, Jerry. Yeah, I mean, it's going uh, to be quite a challenge. The only thing I'm a little glad, I guess, a little happy about is the fact that Whoever goes through all of these guys is going to be, should be a little on the windy side, should be a little tired. So I'll be sitting here fresh as a daisy, you know. And in addition to all of the other names that we mentioned, we have the TV champion, Jesse James Armstrong. That's Tony Myers uh, that was on the camera there for just a split moment. And there's Bart Sawyer uh, winging away, going at Brick House oh, Brown. Charlie Laird there, and I don't know who this hell the other guy is. Tony Myers. Yeah. Oh, that's Tony Myers. Okay. Yeah. The action, all of it, Brian Christopher going after Brickhouse, and he pulls him away from Flex Cabana. You know, I was wrestling in uh, somewhere in Arkansas last night, Lance, and I get a lot of people come up to me and ask me about Brian Christopher. Am I related to Brian Christopher? And I guess, you know, I guess that's just a natural question coming from Arkansas because everybody's related to each other in Arkansas, aren't they? <laughs> but anyway, let me just dispel that rumor. Armstrong picked up and the leg put over the top rope. This is, Dave, a top rope elimination, so that means we're going to have some guys bouncing from a pretty good ways up. Yeah, that's a good point. That's a long way down to that floor, and uh, sometimes there are various ways you can be eliminated in Battle Royals, but this one is over the top rope. There's somebody, Tony Myers, came over, and Bruno, downtown Bruno, the referee, Whoa! says he's out. There's two out, Dundee and uh, Cyberpunk Fire both out. They, they roll each other over the top rope. And look at this on the floor. Your tag team champion partner, Dundee, firing away at Cyberpunk Fire. You know, I was a little concerned about that because I... Uh, had Bill won, I was going to have to wrestle my tag team right. partner. Tag team partner. Oh, there goes Bart Sawyer. Hard. Got Charlie Laird out earlier. Bart Sawyer now eliminated. Tony Falk, I can't see how he can last very long there. This guy's so stupid. He takes a ruler to bed with him to see how long he sleeps every night. Well, I can tell you what. The referee doing walking around over here with a pair of sunglasses. she be watching the action in the ring. Brian Christopher dumps Reggie B. Fine what? over, and there goes Cyberpunk Ice. He's out of there, and Falk put him out. Hey, oh, Flex, Flex Cabana, the Punisher, just flew Flex, uh, threw Flex out of the ring. Flex out. Flex out. That's easy for you to say, Dave. Yeah, yeah. That's well, uh, a couple of newcomers in there. Ashley is still in there, and the Punisher. Armstrong took it over for him. Punisher's a pretty good size individual. You know who he reminds me of? Just look at him, Lance. Now this is going back a long way, but you probably remember the Mongolian Stomper. Yeah. Just looking at that guy. Same type build, the same type. I mean, very reminiscent. Of that. Very good point. Tony Falk just eliminated out. The Punisher takes Jesse James Armstrong up to the top rope. Armstrong fighting back, and there goes 
A new coach to the USWA, Ashley Hudson dumped by Brian Christopher, and Armstrong is out of there. We are down to the Punisher and Brian Christopher, Jerry. One of those two will be your opponent Come on, today. Brian! <laughs> There's that European uppercut that Dory Funk really brought to America and catches him with a clothesline and puts Christopher right on his back. I tell you what, this Punisher's looking big and powerful. He's been going through everybody he's touched in this battle royal. I, I think at this point in time, Dave, I would uh, I'd rather face Brian Christopher than the Punisher. Yeah, well, I, I'm not sure I disagree. However, Brian Christopher is not going to be backing up either, especially when he has a chance to get that uh, that title, the uh, USWA heavyweight title, around his waist again. The, the thing about Brian Christopher is, whoa. Watch oh, it here. Beautiful. Whoa! Okay. Looks like who I'm going to be facing. No, he's not trying to cover him. You need to get on him. Oh, yeah. Punisher felt that super kick, but he's back up and at it. In the air. Power bombed him right down on the mat. And look, like the here's the cover. Count him out. An over the top rope battle royal. Oh, he's come him. on. Guess there's only two guys left. Count him out. Referee downtown Bruno is explaining to him that it is not a pin, Jerry. That's what the yeah, but the guys here new in the U.S. Oh! Christopher Trump picks him over the rope. And we have a winner. And you have an opponent for the U.S. heavyweight title. I don't know if that was exactly right or not. Christopher feeling good about the fact that he's going to be facing the King Four, the U.S. heavyweight title. And now, Bruno having an argument out here. Yeah, hey, I don't blame him. Oh, now wait a minute, Jerry. The rules, it didn't say until we get down to the last two, it said over the top. Yeah, but you got a guy who's the first time in the area. He probably didn't explain, the referee probably didn't even explain the rules to him fully. Should have counted him out. They had a pinfall on the guy. Hey, we're sorry about what happened, but it was an over-the-top rope. And that's I want to know what's going on here. I had that man beat. One, two, three. You saw it? Lana, you saw it? Hey, hey, hey. hey. Everybody in here saw it. Let me take this opportunity to apologize on behalf of the USWA. You did have him beat. I'd like to introduce myself, Jerry the King Lawler right here, Punisher. Pleasure to know you. And I want to say that, in my opinion, you had the man beat. We'll have to talk to the referee, whoever, uh, well, I don't, know, I don't know what his problem was on that thing. Well, the end result is it was an over-the-top rope, and I'm sorry about it. The pin was a very good effort. You did have him down. No, 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 come here. I want to know how somebody that's beat laying on their back like Brian Christopher can wind up winning a battle roll. That's right. Well, hey, sir, I'm not going to stand here and argue with you about it. It was an over-the-top rope. We're going to take a break, and we'll be back. Hey, don't cut the guy off. That's the hey, first time here. Take a break. Take a break, please. Hey,